One of the questions that um, Doug had asked me to think about before we sat down today was, uh, suppose you were going to teach a, a concept in linear algebra called eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and um, how would I approach something like that? And I, as I thought about it a little bit before coming into the, the studio, um, it fits exactly what you were saying, Edward, that, <laughs> that it has this sensory motor side and um, building up to an abstract side, which is one way I like to think about eigenvalues and eigenvectors is imagine your body again, uh, where your heart will represent the origin of a coordinate system. And you can stick your arm out to the side, stick out your right arm. That's a vector. You could also stick out your left arm to the other side. Now you look like a T. You know, that's another vector. And now if you just turned around standing, you know, like a ballerina and just turn 90 degrees or something, um, you and you ask, like in those dieting photographs of someone before and after, you know, or the hair club for men, um, <laughs> you could ask, let's compare before and after the position of your body before and after the 90 degree rotation and, and ask which of your vectors have moved and which are in the same place that they used to be in. That is, your arm that was sticking out is still sticking out, but it's now 90 degrees away from where it was. However, the axis that your body just spun around, that is your vertical axis, you were spinning around your vertical axis like a ballerina, that axis did not move, right? That's still vertical. And so, in fact, what you've just done, if you ask what thing is unchanged, from before to after, it's your vertical axis, your rotation axis. That's the eigenvector? That's the eigenvector oh. of the rotation. So you- Where so were you, you and 25 years so ago? You, really so you teach that, math um, using motor and pictorial that, That's the methods. start. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the start. So now that I've got you thinking that uh, what an eigenvector is, it's a, it's a vector that doesn't change its direction after a transformation. Um, this was a very special kind of eigenvector in that it had an eigenvalue of one. That is, the, the axis didn't get longer or shorter. It stayed the same length. The rotation didn't make it longer. Mm -hmm. It didn't stretch it or, or compress it. And so this, in the jargon, would have an eigenvalue of one, which is the stretch factor. It's, it didn't stretch. So, but now, you know, if I want to say that this is something important in the real world, how about the example of the billion dollar eigenvector, where if you now think about um, the problem that was a very big problem in the mid 1990s of returning good answers to search queries. You're on the web, you wanna find the best place to buy something or you wanna find the most authoritative source about differential equations. You would type into the old, the old thing called Alta Vista <laughs> and it, uh, you remember Alta Vista? I remember And it well. would return a lot of answers, but most of them weren't that good. Right. Um, but now, with Google, you pretty much get what you want it's every amazing. time. It's amazing. Well, Google is based on eigenvectors. The big idea of Google was that if you had a map of the World Wide Web, you could say which pages were important because they're pointed to by other important pages. More times. Except that now you realize that that's a circular right. definition. Right. How do you assign importance to pages? And, right. and the intuition is important pages are pointed to by other important pages, as you say, many times. If you translate that into math, you, you end up getting an equation that says, bef let's assign importance to all pages at random. Yep. Well, that's their before. Now, let's say your new importance is the sum of the importances of the pages that point to you. That's your after. Right. And if you look at the relationship between before and after, before was a big list of the importances of all the pages. That big list is a vector. The after is a vector of the importances after everything gets added. And the point is that if everything is done correctly, before must equal after. That's the self-consistently correct definition of page's importance, right. which in the jargon is their page rank. So anyway, this is an eigenvector problem. And by solving the eigenvector problem, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, you know, made, made this multi-billion dollar company. Right. Right. So anyway, eigenvectors are big business as well as, you know, I hope between the ballerina and the There you go. You got you know, the application. Yeah. You got the physical and you got 
the financial. Yeah, now if you want to, now I think a student is motivated to see how do I actually calculate see, such a thing. See, this is actually really interesting. This is like a very efficient three minute way of hitting like the several different motivations that well, you were saying. That's why I, nice. I'm interested in teaching. I mean, right. you, uh, this, this takes. This is the creative side of teaching. Right. How do you come up this with stuff why, yes. like this? That's right. Well, I like to think about things like that.